talking about God's great gift. Do you know what God's great gift is? You might be able to see it behind me on the board here. That's right, God's great gift is salvation. So for this week, our lesson big idea says, God offers us the free gift of salvation. How exciting is that? The greatest gift, salvation, is free for us to receive. That is so, so amazing. And for this week, our memory verse, we find it in Ephesians and it says, put on salvation as your helmet. We find that in Ephesians six and it's verse 17, right? So this scripture is telling us that we should take this amazing gift and put it on as a helmet. And you wonder, well, why does it say that? That's a little bit, well, because putting on a helmet protects you, right? When you're wearing a helmet while riding your bike, it protects your head. If you're riding a motorcycle, it definitely protects your head. You need a helmet for protection. Well, the verse is calling us to take this great and free gift and put it on as our protection. Our salvation protects us, it empowers us, and it is the greatest gift you can receive. So I'm about to pass this over to Brother Dion. He's going to continue to teach us all about this amazing and free gift that God offers us. Hi guys, we're here uh, today with Hank and Petunia. Good morning everyone. Hello friends, good morning. And. I see that they have coins with them I today. I do have a coin. And with those coins, you guys are going to be able to exchange that for a gift. Wow, we're super lucky. Right, so with your coins, but the deal, you almost hit me in the head. <laughs> can be exchanged for a lollipop. Wow. Right now, the coins that you guys just exchanged for those lollipops, they you know they weren't really they weren't really worth a whole lot. You know there wasn't really a whole lot of value there. You know so I mean it's almost like you got them for free, essentially, right? And so that's kind of comparable to what we're talking about today. We're talking about salvation. God gives us the gift of salvation, and that gift is free. Wow, we, that's super cool. Right? We have given been given the opportunity to get this gift from God for free. The gift of salvation, you know, the opportunity to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus one day, you know, and when we talk about that gift of salvation, you know, there's some steps that we have to take to get it, but essentially, I mean, it's not really costing us too much of value. I mean, our, our sinful life, right? We give that to God when we come to salvation, you know, but our sinful life isn't really worth a whole lot. You know, it's messy and dirty and full of all kinds of just filth. So when we give that up and we come to God and we repent and we're baptized and we're filled with the Holy Ghost, God will give us that gift of salvation. Wow, that's really, really awesome. I definitely would like to trade my messy life for heaven. That's crazy amazing. Right, that's kind of a no-brainer, right? So... Like we said, we want to we want to give give up our messy lives that aren't really worth a whole lot of value for something that's even more amazing and it's free. You know, it doesn't really it doesn't cost us too much. So we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more about that with Sister Christina in just a moment. So we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Hey guys, I was actually, I was just drawing a little character, a fun little friend with this blue marker. I'll show them to you in one second. I just want to add some hands onto his arms. Ta-da! <laughs> He's a little bit silly looking, but I like him. I think he looks funny. He's a little bit cute. I like his furry, squiggly looking body. I like this little character. Hmm, maybe I can give him a name. 
I'm gonna name him Bluey because he's all blue. I really like him. I like my little creation, my little character here. But, you know, if this character decided to start talking on this piece of paper, or maybe started to jump off the page and become a, a real creature, but he decided instead of thanking me for drawing him and creating him, he decided to start punching me or kicking me or biting me with his sharp two front teeth. Or maybe he started calling me names. He started calling me ugly. He started saying I was stupid, mean words like that that we don't say. That would make me really sad. And you know what? If he started doing that, I would probably just crumple him up into a ball and say, ha ha, I created you, I can get rid of you, and then toss him away. I would just get rid of him if he was going to be mean to me. Because if something that I created decided to be mean to me, I wouldn't want to deal with him. I wouldn't want to keep him around. I didn't have to keep him around. I wouldn't want to keep him around. I wouldn't have to. So I'd just get rid of him. But did you know God created you and he created me? And I know that I and you guys aren't perfect. Sometimes we disobey God's Ten Commandments. Sometimes we disobey our moms and our dads. Sometimes we lie. Sometimes we fight with our brothers and sisters or we fight with our friends. We get in trouble. Sometimes we have mean thoughts or we say mean words. But God doesn't crumple us up like I just crumpled up Bluey. He doesn't just crumple us up and get rid of us. He loves us so, so much. So, he said, even though you make mistakes, I wanna do something very special for you. I wanna give you salvation so that way you can come live with me so that I can take all of your mean words out. I can take all of your disobedience out. I can take all those things out of you and I can be inside of you instead. That was super nice of Jesus to do for you and for me. And there's a story in the Bible when Jesus was on the cross and he was being really beat up by all sorts of people and they were all yelling super mean things at him and they were torturing him. They were being so mean to Jesus on that cross. There was a guy next to Jesus on both of his sides and one of those men was hanging on that cross because he was a super bad guy his whole life. He did all sorts of mean things. And so they decided to put him on a cross as well. So when he was hanging on that cross and he saw Jesus inside of his heart and in his mind, he knew who Jesus was. So he turned to Jesus and he said, Jesus, can you forgive me of my sins? I'm sorry that I've been bad my whole life. I wanna live forever with you. Can you forgive me? And you know what Jesus did for this bad guy who stole, who, who beat people up, who was a bad person? You know what Jesus did for this person who, who was hanging on the cross next to him? He looked at that man and he told him that he forgave him of his sins. And that same day, that man was going to go live with him in paradise. That is insane. Someone who was bad their whole entire life in the last few minutes of their life decided to say, Jesus, will you forgive me? And he did because he loves us. So I'm teaching you guys today that you can do that today. Today, you can say, Jesus, I've been a messy person. I've said some messy, mean words. I've thought some mean thoughts. I've been mean with my body. I've pushed other people. I've hit other people maybe. I've yelled at my mom and dad. I've done mean things. But Jesus, can you forgive me? And today he can do that for you. So that way you can live with him in paradise too. That is how awesome Jesus is. He gives us salvation so we can wear it on our heads like a helmet our whole life and we can know and tell this life passes away and we go meet Jesus that we're saved. 
So now that I'm done talking with you guys, let's get up and move. So we had another amazing, awesome week of Sunday school. And this week we were talking all about the great gift that God gives us. Do you remember what it was? That's right. It was salvation. God gives us the wonderful and amazing gift of salvation. And like Brother Dion talked to us about, he doesn't really ask us for anything of value in return. Right? We just get to give him a sometimes messy and broken life for heaven, for salvation, for something that's so amazing, the greatest gift that you can ever receive. And then, Sister Christina, she gave us a Bible story. She told us about the man who hung on the cross next to Jesus and how that man, who was an awful sinner his whole life, asked Jesus for forgiveness and Jesus forgave him and he saved him. 
That's just how much our Savior wants to forgive us, wants to give us the gift of salvation. He is quick to give that to us. And I think that is so, so amazing. And we know salvation comes through repentance, through being baptized. And once we do that, God gives us the gift of the Holy Ghost. He comes and fills us with the Holy Ghost so that we know and we can tell everyone else that we have been saved. And that is amazing. So if you haven't been saved, if you haven't received the gift of the Holy Ghost, today, right now, right where you are, you can ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost and he can give it to you. You can be saved right this minute. And that is amazing. Remember, Jesus is quick to give that to us. That man on the cross just said, Jesus, forgive me. And Jesus said, you're saved. That was it. So why don't we just take a moment and pray together. And, you know, if there's someone in your life that hasn't been saved and you have been saved, you can pray for that person. So, Jesus, I love you so much. I love you because you love me in a way that I can't even understand. It is a love that is so, so big, and I am so, so grateful. Jesus, I want to live my life in a way that pleases you. I want to live my life in a way that gives you glory. And I thank you, Jesus, because you have given me and you have given this world the greatest gift, and that is salvation. Jesus, I want to take some time in prayer and just ask that if there be any person in our church that has not received the gift of the Holy Ghost, that has not received the gift of salvation, that you would turn their hearts to you. Jesus, I pray that you would just surround them with your love, that you would comfort them, and that you would let them know that this gift is not a hard gift to receive. It is an easy gift to receive. Hallelujah, Jesus, you are so good. Why don't we just take a moment and let's just praise Jesus. Let's just lift up his name. Let's give him some glory. Let's give him some thanksgiving. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Lord, you are so good to me and you have always been so good to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Isn't Jesus just so amazing? I think he's so, so amazing. Well, guys, that concludes our lesson for this week. I hope you go out and have a wonderful week, and I cannot wait to see you all again. Bye, guys.